This is by far my favorite way to eat green beans. Hello pot stickers and hello to you pot stirrers. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for being here. Today I'm making stir fried green beans, Szechuan style. So let's get cooking. First, let's prep our vegetables. I have one pound of green beans that I'm gonna wash and cut in half. I prefer them to be bite-sized, but not too long. You can leave them whole if you want, or you can cut them even smaller, it's up to you. The key thing to any Chinese dish is the aromatics, and that includes both ginger and garlic. I'm gonna finally chop up about two tablespoons of ginger, and here's a little tip for you. If you wanna peel your garlic, just use the edge of a spoon. The skin will scrape right off easily. I'm going to slice these thinly and then cut them into slivers and finally I'm going to dice them up into fine pieces. I already have garlic that I've chopped and frozen and I'm going to use about the same amount as the ginger, about two tablespoons, and I'm going to take that right from my freezer and use it directly. The other important aromatic component is from the onion family. If I had shallots I'd use them because they give a nice little sweetness to this dish, but all I have today are onions so I'm going to use those. Here I have half an onion that I'm just slicing up finely lengthwise. I'm also going to use about six whole dry red chilies for a bit of heat. I'm going to leave them whole just to infuse a little bit of heat into the stir fry but still make it easy for them to be plucked out later if people don't like that much spice. For the sauce I'm mixing together two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, one tablespoon of Chinese black vinegar, one tablespoon of chili black bean sauce and oil. Any fermented bean chili combination would do if you can't find this particular black bean chili oil. And for a bit of sweetness, I'm adding one tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Set this aside until you need it. For the meat component, I'm using soy curls, and these are the crumbles that are found in the bottom of the bag of the soy curls. I'm seasoning these with two tablespoons of soy sauce, and I'm just going to cover this up with water and let it hydrate for about 15 minutes. Then I'll drain it and press out the excess water. Okay, now that everything's ready, let's get cooking. We'll start with the beans. For the best result, it's important to pay attention to the technique for cooking the beans. The key to getting the best texture and flavor is to dry fry them slowly in a pan that's not too hot. Place a wok or a large saute pan on a medium low heat and add some oil to that. You don't want this to be too hot, it'll take a little bit of time. To cook the beans it's going to take about 8 minutes or so. You want the beans to cook through with a little bit of crunch left in the middle, but they should be cooked all the way through. If they blacken too quickly, turn your heat down a bit. Do not add water to steam them. I know that's a common practice to help cook vegetables that are being stir fried, but don't do it. They have a better texture and flavor if they are dry fried without steam. Once the beans are cooked and have some color on them, you want to transfer those to a bowl and set them aside. Place your wok back on the burner and turn the heat up to medium high or high, depending on your stove. Once that wok is hot, add some oil. Add your ginger and your garlic and toss that around in the oil for a few seconds and then throw in your onions. Stir fry those just until they start to soften. Next I'm going to add in the soy curls. You want to stir fry everything together for three to four minutes until the soy is cooked through and starting to brown a little bit on the edges. I forgot to add my red chilies, which I usually add into the oil when I put in the ginger and the garlic. That's okay, I'll just make some space in the bottom of the wok and fry them up for a few seconds. Go ahead and add the beans back to your wok and finally stir in the sauce. You want to mix this together well and cook it for about 30 seconds or so until all that sauce is fully incorporated onto all of the ingredients. Then transfer it to your serving dish. I tell you the aromas and the flavors that are coming out of this are just incredible. Notice that this dish is not too saucy and it's not goopy. Everything is coated with the sauce as a seasoning, but it isn't really wet. This is, in my opinion, the best way to enjoy the flavor and the texture of the beans. The soy curls provide that nice meaty mince that pork would normally provide, and you won't miss the pork one bit in this. You have to try this. You will not be disappointed. Well, there you have it. Stir-fried green beans, Szechuan style. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you come back because I'm going to be cooking up more great dishes and sharing it with you. I love me some green beans. 